a lot of people wander up and down here completely lost, don't know what they're doing. They've come to London, they don't really know what London is, how to use it, and they're kind of wandering around in a daze, and that's uh, really where we come in. Special language shredded up like cerebral cabbage, meaning something but you'll never find it by looking here. The answers hidden in other books left in other countries by a flock of madmen all long gone. I've been painter and decorator, builder's labourer, worked in loads of coffee shops, bars, sort of all sorts of things really. It's like just trying to fund my dissolute chaotic lifestyle. Like, uh, if I could do this, you know, full time, I probably would. I think people don't go out of their way anymore to get access to poetry. And I think this is beautiful, this is nice, you know, just makes your day. We feel a void, <laughs> if only for a few minutes. I've never seen something like this. Um, it's very creative for me, I think, because they do everything uh, just um, on, on advice of us, on, on the tips we give them. And I think it's brilliant. Anger. And survival as well. What's that? Anger and survival. Oh, yeah, okay, no oh, problem. Cool. Anger and survival. Look and see. Okay. <laughs> you can really make anything interesting if you get the right angle on it. I think the question is how hard is it to come up with good poems <laughs> so quickly? That's quite difficult, but yeah. Writing is just one word leads to the next. It's more about the way the words kind of jangle together than, uh, than the subject matter. Writing and being able to give someone a word and hearing what their perspective is, whether it's experience or... Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, feeling creates a better experience versus just um, tech. Well, I think you can uh, have the digital stuff all over all the time, 24-7, and you just have to open the, the browser or things like this. And uh, so something to hold in your hands is more than you can rely, uh, rely on, I think. And I think it's the most empowering thing you can uh, give someone. I have a friend of mine who's um, struggling with uh, depression at the time, and I thought it's a nice, uh, nice way to give him self-empowerment. And because he's uh, very artistic as well, I think this will be the perfect present for him. So I decided to bring in something very personal back to Germany, to bring in something of the soul of the city, of the soul of the citizens, and of my soul as well towards to him, to make him feel that he's not worthless and that our people are caring about him. To is a bog, a swam, we sink in it, every step settles down, foot down to your ankle. Life is like that, time unreals ahead, interminable, and day to day to day, with little to distinguish one from another. A new dawn, and the sun rising like a split fruit, spilling lurid colors across the sky, and yet, does not each dawn look much like another? Like a television show on repeat, or the same record winding round and round again. What we need, what in fact we demand, is the holy new. What we demand is the miracle. The step beyond natural law, the shaking off of chains, the stepping without the machine, wholly free and self-determined. What we demand is the impossible. Transforming all relations of life, so even the world outside the window looks different. The street we walk every day become, if only momentarily, a paradise. Thank you very much. Glad there are guys like you. You will like it.